So just back for that marketplace pickup and uh, quite a nice house as always. So that's good. I think the house says a lot about the games. I'll just pick the games up. They're very nice condition. They Well, they look very nice condition. Just quickly scan there for you. There you go, folks. Just a few PS3 titles. Okay. But the one title there I was interested in above all others was this. Alice Madness Returns. Now, obviously, that is a, a, a half-decent title. So let's have a quick look in the case there. Yep, manual in there, EA manual. Activation code, and let's take a look at the disc, because that's always important as well. But it come from a nice home. Oh, disc fucker. Not a scratch. Hasn't been played that one, I wouldn't have said. So I'm, I'm pleased with that. Uh, a great, 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 great pickup. So it's worth it just for that. The rest is probably a bit of fodder and that, but we'll go through it all now. We'll see what we got. Hey, it's me, OG Duffy, and I am back with another Marketplace pickup. Now, as you guys know, watch the channel. I do these every now and then, and uh, Marketplace, I find it's very hit and miss. <sighs> But you've got to be in it to win it. Now, quite often, I find the listings, decent listings, go mega quick. They go like that. So you have to be really quick, fast, and on it, all right? Uh, but this listing had been up for two or three days, and it was only some PS3 games. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing too retro about PS3 games yet. But there will be, you know, giving time and all that. Um, but it's a, still a really good system. I mean, I've still played my PS3. I've still got it out. I've got the old fat version, you know, the nice chunky one. Oh, it's a chunky! And uh, I, I play it quite often, and I still find graphically and everything else, it's still an amazing console, all right? So I think there's some amazing games to be had for it. Uh, and and oh, it's just well worth collecting for anyway, I think, especially now, because they're priced very, very nicely. Now, as you saw in that little video at the beginning there, there was the one title I was interested in, which was this, Alice uh, Madness Returns. Never played it, but I know it's been uh, an up and down title in terms of value. I don't think it's fetching as much now as it was a few months ago. Um, hey, if you've played this, let me know in the comments. But what I'm going to do with this little marketplace pickup, over here we're going to do our CEX pricing, all right? So at the top there, how much CEX would I'd have to pay if I bought the title from CEX? Next up there in the middle, we're going to do CEX, how much that individual title they would give me for cash on trading. And finally, how much they would give me in store credit, the all-important store credit. That's how you get your heavy hitting titles, all right? So I'm going to do each title individually, and then at the end, we'll tally it all up, all right? So adding to the titles there now, to the total, uh, there you go. Alice, Madness Returns, that's what CEX will give me. Next up, we got us a Batman game. Batman! on the PS3, they're all PS3, okay? Uh, this is Arkham Origins on PS3, there we go, all right? Adding the totals to that one now, all right? There's individuals, that's what CX will pay me for that. Remember, at the end, I'll tally them all up and we'll see if my 10 pound was well spent or not. I think it is, because that Alice title alone is, is going in my collection, all right? A Star Wars title. May the Force be with you. I love me Star Wars, as you know. I started doing a little Star Wars timeline too on videos, so check that out if you've not seen it. Um, Star Wars Force Unleashed 2. Use the Force, think. Okay, so there's the price that CX will give me for this one on my trade-in, for the cash and all that sort of stuff going up there now. Oh, Grand Theft Auto 5. What's to say? Honestly, Grand Theft Auto is such an amazing game. The problem is with this one, I, I've got this, I've probably got a few copies of this knocking about now. Who hasn't? Um, but it's, it's one of them games I, I can never really complete or get right into because I just go off on a tangent, you know. I start playing it, and I'm like, oh, you've got this mission to do. I've got to be here on the map or whatever. OG Duffy ain't there, mate. I ain't there. The original game has gone off. I'm on a tangent. I'm on a, I don't know, I'm running people over and just doing all sorts of naughtiness for an hour, and then I'm like, oh. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. And then you get up getting arrested. Naughty, naughty. So anyway, that's what CX will give me for that one. Okay, next up, what we got now? From the creators of Doom and Quake. Rage Anarchy Edition. Rage. To be fair, right, a lot of these titles, they're probably going to be 1p, 10p titles, I'm guessing, right? I don't know. But anyway, that's the individual price going up there. We'll tally them up at the end, as you know. See if my tenner was really worth it or not. Battlefield Limited Edition. Battlefield 3. 
don't know what's limited edition about it. It's Battlefield 3. Yeah, limited edition. There's the price. That I'm guessing, I could be wrong, 10p. They're going to get 10p for it or whatever in cash. Probably in the penny. I don't know. It could be one of them. Anyway, adding that one on there now. Next up, got a few more to get through. Medal of Honor. Secretary Ross has a Congressional Medal of Honor. Includes Medal of Honor Frontline on this one. Okay. So there you go. Medal of Honor, PS3. And it's got the Frontline on there as well, which was PS2, if I'm correct. Let me know. Let me know in the comments. You guys know your video games better than I do. Right, okay. It's PS3, Medal of Honor. That's what I'm for it now. Obviously, at the top, what it cost me, CX, second, what I'd have to pay in CX, or no, sorry, what they'd give me in cash if I was to trade it in, and obviously third, the last one there, what they'd give me in store credit. That's the only important one for me, because that's where you can you can get a few quid uh, on your titles to buy your heavy hitting games. Next up, uh, on the Essentials label, is Infamous. Infamous. Heaven only knows what infamous objectives. All right, so again, tallying that one up on there. Ka-ching, ka-ching. Infamous. As I say, these titles are all, they're two a penny titles. There's nothing special here, except for the Alice game, which I just wanted for my collection, all right? Borderlands 2, Borderlands 2. Great game. Quality game, though, Borderlands. You know, very highly um, talked about. People do like the Borderlands. So there you go, that's the price there. That it cost me in CX, and what they'll give me in store credit in cash if I had to sell it, and I was in desperate days. And the last title from this little marketplace pickup is this. Last one, Commander. And it's Uncharted Drake's Fortune. And that's on the Essentials label, that one. And again, so I'm adding that price there. So that's at the top there, just for the final one here. That's what CEX will charge me to buy it. Secondly, what CEX will give me in cash if I was to trade these titles in. And thirdly, store credit. What they'll give me in store credit. Now, I've shown you the individual totals as we go. Now, we're going to tally it all up. So the question is this, my friends. Was my £10 well spent? Yes or no? Let's find out. So, I've got my notepad and I've jotted them numbers down, the figures. All right, guys? So, if I was going to CEX and buy all of these titles, all right? Remember, I paid £10 on Marketplace. It would cost me a total of £44 for me to purchase them from CEX. So, obviously, that's a winner. But we knew that anyway with that one title alone. Let's be honest, this pickup was just for that one title, really. Okay, now if I was to go into CEX after investing my £10 and want to see how much cash they would give me for all of them titles, we are looking at £14.54. pence. Not bad. £4.50 little profit there. But obviously you've got your time and effort involved. Uh, and lastly, store credit, the all-important store credit. If I was to take them in and cash them in for store credit, they would give me a total of 21.91, as you can see there. So, I believe pretty much all of them games are doubles, except for that, uh, that um, the Madness one, the Alice game. So looking at it, okay, if I'd have gone in to buy just Alice alone, I bought it off the shelf, it would cost me £20 from CEX. So it cost me a tenner for all of them. So that's £20 <coughs> saved. I saved a tenner. So it's cost me a tenner plus got all them. And if I went and then cashed them in, right, minus. So if I, if I took the rest of them in and I cashed them in for store credit to put towards me other store credit tickets that I've got, and I kept Madness, I've spent a tenner. I've got Alice Madness Returns for free. Well, not for free. I've still invested £10 in. But they would give me a total of £8.90 store credit for them titles. <coughs> so, excuse me. So, all in all, I've got Alice, a £20 game. And I've got £8.90 in store credit to spend. So, I've got Alice, which cost me £1.10. That's a pretty good deal, if I say so myself. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments as always. And if you've enjoyed this sort of video, do check out my previous playlist because I've got lots of these sort of things going on, all right? And lots more coming in the future along with the uh, doubles that I'm giving away, all right? So I might trade them in. I might not. I might just put them in my doubles pile and give them away to you good people. Let me know in the comments. What should I do? Anyway, I've been OG Duffy. You guys are awesome as normal. And if you don't already do so, hit that subscribe button. 
because it makes me a happy man, puts a smile on my face. But you already knew that. Laters.